SCS Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana. There is a tweet by lawyer Donald B. Kip Korir. A tweet about two days ago. And as I talk right now, this tweet is still generating a lot of political heat and debate. And I felt it was worth analyzing and discussing here. Donald B. Kip Korir. Kuruma word in Wasengishu is the only word that is nearly 100% Kikuyu. It is the only word in Wasengishu that has refused to join Uda. They know something that its, its relatives in Mount Kenya don't know. I also know it. And I have advised Baba multiple times on it. That's the tweet. So in this video, I want us to dissect this tweet to see exactly what it means politically. Yes, in case you've bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Yes, lawyer Donald B. Kipkoril is currently a very close Raila ally. And the lawyer in 2013, or rather when Kiptuma Murkomen was contesting in 2013, the lawyer is on record as stating that he actually funded Kiptuma Murkomen's senatorial campaigns. So just out of that alone, this lawyer and William Ruto, their paths might have closed at some point. So this lawyer might personally have interacted with William Ruto at some point. Yes, so he knows William Ruto in person. And from this tweet, this lawyer is just indirectly trying to say that anybody who, has, who knows William Ruto personally or who has interacted with William Ruto personally or rather closely cannot even think of supporting William Ruto politically. Cannot even think of voting for William Ruto. And then when he brings in the issue of Uruma Wodin was in Gishu, he's just trying to remind the Kikuyu community of the pain they allegedly underwent in the hands of William Ruto. We still remember KAG, Kiamba Church in Eldoret. And it was because of that church that William Ruto landed in Hague. Yes, charge of crimes against humanity. The lawyer is cleverly trying to remind the gamer community of the pains they underwent allegedly in the hands of William Ruto. That's the intended objective of this tweet. And then upon residents of Mount Kenya being reminded of what they underwent in 2007, a good majority of Mount Kenya residents might actually think otherwise. They might actually even think of not supporting William Ruto at all because largely our politics is ethnic based. The, nation, the gamer community, the Kikuyu nation will just be reminded that this man you intend of voting for actually cost you some serious harm in 2007. That's what the lawyer is just actually trying to say. And likely if you look at Uruma Ward in Eldoret, there have been some by-elections that have been, been done since Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto parted ways politically. And we are, there is a consistent trend that we have been seeing in these by-elections. Areas that are predominantly Mount Kenya inhabited, we have been seeing them warming towards William Ruto, warming towards Uda. And Uruma Ward, when there was a ward by election, actually Jubilee candidate easily won that seat. Mm. Jubilee candidate easily won that seat. And as I talk right now, there are also some perception, or rather some beliefs, that residents of that ward are actually a majority, might not actually be in order. Mm. There, is, there are some such kind of speculation. And now the lawyer here is cleverly calling upon hmm, 
the gamer community, the ones in Central, actually to be very careful before casting their votes for William Ruto. And the lawyer is maybe just trying to tell, or rather to say, that the Mount Kenya residents, or rather the Kikuyu nation in Central, are very ignorant, or rather naive, of who actually William Ruto is. That's the whole thing about this tweet. So, can this tweet actually achieve the intended mission or objective or purpose? From where I sit again, if the Azimio foot soldiers can actually grab this narrative and run with it in the remaining four months, they will do serious damage to William Ruto on the mountain. That they will do serious damage to William Ruto on the mountain. Because now the residents of Mount Kenya, or other residents of Central, will now just be reminded of the actual pain they underwent in 2007. Hmm? They will be reminded of that. And then there will be a comparison. You know, currently we have two strong candidates. We have Raila Molo Odinga and we have William Ruto. If you look at William Ruto's closet, he has got a lot of skeletons in his closet as, as far as how he has dealt or handled the gamer community. Raila Molo Odinga on the other side, Raila is being seen to be a person who is just a victim of bad politics of the early 60s. But individually, or rather personally, Raila on his own, if you look at it objectively, you cannot pinpoint some direct attacks maybe Raila has unleashed against the gamer community. But with William Ruto, you can easily pinpoint events of 2007. So the gamer nation, in my considered opinion, will just be given those kind of comparisons. And if the Azimio team and foot soldiers can actually run away with that kind of a narrative, they will do serious damage to William Ruto on the mountain. And as I talk again, just some few days ago, Uhuru Kenyatta hosted Kikuyo elders at State House. And we are being made to understand that Uhuru told them that William Ruto had actually planned to impeach him. And William Ruto replied to the president yesterday, and William Ruto now claims that it's Raila who actually wanted to impeach the president. So in one way or the other, Uhuru Kenyatta is, William Ruto is actually admitting that there was an attempt to impeach the president. So actually what the president was also just saying, that there were plans to impeach him, actually now carry some water, because even William Ruto is now admitting that. But that is a big blunder on the side of William Ruto. And I'm saying it's a big blunder because William Ruto's survival on the mountain largely depends on how he actually relates with President Uru Kenyatta. If William Ruto is being seen to be in a vicious fight or rather at war with President Uru Kenyatta, William Ruto is actually spoiling chances for him on the mountain. Because now residents of Mount Kenya can now actually decide to align themselves with Uhuru Kenyatta. So it's actually a political blunder for Uhuru Kenya, for William Ruto, I mean, to actually admit that there was a plan to impeach the president and actually to exchange words with President Uhuru Kenyatta in public. And you can see that all these things are just meant to build emotions. And now if you add it with this what this law is actually trying to say, these are just negative emotions being built against William Ruto. So William Ruto actually should not be actually entering into that trap of actually helping in building negative emotions against him. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, as, as I conclude, this tweet by lawyer Donald K B. K. Correll is actually meant to incite the gamer community against William Ruto. And if it, this narrative, as a new politician can hijack this narrative and run away with it, they will do serious damage to William Ruto on the mountain.
Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, in case you've bumped here and so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya.